In the series of instantaneous rate of change of parent functions, here we have we have the quadratic parent function. Okay, so what is quadratic parent function? The quadratic parent function is f of x equals to x square, right? And how do we find the instantaneous rate of change? As you know, we are using this symbol for instantaneous rate of change. It is f of x plus h minus f of x over x, right? This is the difference quotient method by which we are trying to find instantaneous rate of change for most of our parent functions, okay? Now, we'll use this uh, and find, in general, what is the instantaneous rate of change for a quadratic parent function, okay? So, we have instantaneous rate of change for this function is equal to f of x plus h means we'll replace x with x plus h, right? So, we get x plus h whole square minus f of x is x square, right? Over h. And now, here, if you remember, what is h? So, h is something which is very, very small as compared to 1 and h actually approaches 0. It's like 0 0.001, right? So, x square or h square will be very, very small and can be neglected for most of the practical purposes, right? So, we will neglect it whenever uh, we need to. Now, here we'll expand it. a plus b whole square, you know what this is. It is x square plus 2xh plus h square minus x square over h, right? Now, here we have x square minus x square is 0 and you're left with 2xh plus h, right? So, I can take h common here. So, h common and I got 2x plus h divided by h, correct? Now, <coughs> h and h will cancel, right? So, you are left with 2x plus h. Since h is very, very small, this can be approximated to 2x. Is that okay? So, we see that for any quadratic function, the instantaneous rate of change is kind of a line, 2x. So, if you kind of sketch this on a graph here, for example, you will see that if your function f of x squared is kind of like this, then at every point, uh, so this is like x squared, so let us assume that, uh, let's assume this point is 1, 1, right? Let's assume this point is 1, 1. Then f of x is 2 times x, so 0 and when x is 1, so your point will be kind of here, right? So you get a line here, say, drawing like this. So this line, y equals to 2x, will be, will represent instantaneous rate of change for this graph at every point. So do you notice something? It is always increasing. A very interesting question is, when we talk about a quadratic function, you will see many times, uh, it is asked whether, so we say intervals, let me write this question here, uh, write the interval for increasing and decreasing, okay? For a given function and if the function is x square as in our case so our function f of x equals to x square in that case so what is the interval of increasing so interval for increasing is you see is all throughout is from minus infinity to plus infinity and interval of decreasing none it never decreases do you see that for fx equals to x square this is extremely important to understand. As I've seen many times, students making a mistake here. So you see, it looks as if it is decreasing. The function is decreasing. f of x is decreasing. But rate of change, right, the interval for rate of change, rate of change of f of x equals to x squared, increasing or decreasing. I should have mentioned here rate of change. So it's rate of change. So we say rate of change is 2x, right? And x is a line which always grows positive. Do you see it increases all the time at a constant rate of 2? Do you understand? So, so if, the, if the rate of change at 
x equals to 1 is 2, then at 2 it will be 2 times 2, 4, okay? So that's that's very important conclusion which you find here. So even otherwise, if you try to analyze it, you'll find that in this region, you see it is negative here. I'm not touching it purposely, but just trying to show you. And here it is kind of zero, do you see? So it is more negative, less negative, zero, less positive, and more positive, and more positive. So it becomes from high negative to high positive. Do you see high negative? This goes to negative infinity to positive infinity. So that is how the rate of change for a quadratic function changes over its in entire domain. It always increases. The value of function f of x decreases from minus infinity to zero and then increases from zero to infinity. The value of function f x. But rate of change increases all throughout its domain. Okay, That's a very, very important conclusion which we got. And if the question is, find the rate of change at at uh, for f of x at x equals to minus 1 then so what should be the answer at minus 1 it will be 2 to times minus 1 which is minus 2 and if I say find the rate of change at f of x at x equals to 2 then it will be 2 times 2 which is 4 right this is much higher and at 0 it is 0 you can see horizontal. If I say where is the rate of change for this function 0? That means the rate of change is 0, solve for x. They say well x is 0. If I say where for a parent quadratic function is rate of change equals to 6? Then you have to write 6 here right and find the value of x. So 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. So at x equals to 3 the instantaneous rate of change for quadratic parent function is 6. That is how you are going to answer the related questions okay so it's very important to understand the very basic function and its instantaneous rate of change so it helps you to answer a wide variety of questions okay thank you i hope it helps you a lot thank you